This video, we're going to be going over the College Football 25 September 19th title update. This title update has dropped, and I wanted to go over kind of some of the big things that changed in the game, as well as some of the speculation about what is coming to Madden as a result of this patch. One of the things that's really been true of the games this year, while Madden and College Football 25 are different games, there are a lot of similarities between the two games, and simultaneously, not only are there a lot of similarities between the two games but most of the time what has been happening so far we're about um, one month one month and a half ish almost two months total into the gaming season what has been happening is they have basically launched features in college football 25 and then they have brought those features into madden 25 if you think about switch stick if you think about custom stems if you think about hot routes a lot of the things that exist in college football 25 are slowly making their way into madden 25 so that's why i wanted to cover this on both of my on on both of my channels if you're not a follower of my madden channel i'll leave that in the description and if you're not a follower of my college football channel i'll leave that in the description as well but i figured that this would be um, just a, a good conversation to have today about a couple things that are, are significantly different the biggest thing that changed in this title update is they added the ability to save custom audibles across all game modes dev note as you change audibles in your formation at the play call screen they will save automatically and they will not change from game to game. You will be able to do this for up to 32 total playbooks. To change audibles, you just simply press the left trigger after choosing a formation in the play call screen. So I have gameplay loaded up here and I'll just kind of show what they're talking about. So basically what they're saying is the way you change your audibles in every game that has been in Madden for a while is you hit left trigger. And then when you hit left trigger, you can put whatever plays you want. So let's say I want to put, you know, um, smash return in here. Let's say I want to put the bubble screen, the vertical, you know, whatever it wants. And I can always change these as well. I can always change them. But now basically every time you change an audible, it's going to auto save for up to 32 total playbooks. So as you see here, it says playbook saved one out of 32. If I was to change one audible here on the defensive side, so I just take this Tampa two and turn this to saw blitz three. Now you see that there are two out of 32 playbooks saved. So that's, that's the biggest change uh, that they made post patch. I think this is one of the best changes that we've seen in a long time it's something that a lot of people have been asking for for years and they finally able uh, to offer that change that's a significant change i would hope that this is coming to madden um, i don't think anyone likes to spend you know a delay a game a timeout setting audibles every single game it's a super, super big deal that they were able to get this fixed and get this done and we've literally been waiting for this for years so super thankful that this is now in the game Another thing that was changed is they fixed an, a kickoff exploit where players could cause the ball to not be caught by the receiving team. We will continue to monitor feedback on this fix and make further changes if necessary. Basically, what this is saying is they fixed the scum kick. Um, honestly, the scum kick wasn't that big of a deal because if you just moved the players before the ball was, the ball was kicked off, it was fine. So this is not a, a major deal, but it is a good deal. I'm glad that they fixed this. Um, however, one of the things that I did want to say about this is I understand that this was a quote-unquote exploit, and I believe that this will be fixed in Madden soon as well. But one of the big pieces of strategy that you're seeing in real life, in the real NFL, where these new kickoffs are a thing, you're seeing that they are trying to basically quote-unquote scum kick. My man Brett Coleman actually did a 10, I think, 10 to 11-minute video explaining how kickoffs are going to be cha like significantly changing the NFL right now because of the. there's a lot of different strategy behind special teams, which is a good thing for real football. And so I would like to see there be a little bit more of that in Madden as opposed to just kicking it deep and hoping that they don't run it back for a touchdown. So... Anyway, all that to say, the uh, the kickoff exploit is going to be fixed. Now, this one I did actually want to show. Uh, fixed an issue with smart routed custom stems, which resulted with a speed boost off the line of snap. So if we go back over here, what they're talking about is they've tried to fix this stem glitch like several times over. And I think that they've actually 
uh, been able to finally fix it. So what we were able to do is basically you pick any play. If you were to put a corner route out here to the right side and you were to stem him up or down and then smart route it, it would speed it would basically be a speed burst and he would be able to just get instant separation as you see now nothing really happens and he still beats man but he runs like more of a basic corner route that we've that we've seen um, another thing that is important to address here is that they were able to fix the stemmed curl so but before pat the patch was dropped if you put any receiver on the field on a curl route and you stemmed him all the way up and basically made it like a streak, they they would always beat the press instantly and it'd be a touchdown. Here you see that the guy's able to run with him, and if I try to throw this, the, the corner is on top of him, and at that point it just becomes, you know, basically an aggressive catch type of deal. Okay, let's go back to the notes. Slight composure tuning to increase the impact to attributes when getting hot or cold. Not too worried about that. Um, several zone coverage AI improvements. Okay, so this is what has been promised to go to Madden. These, this is what the community has been, and myself included, re really frustrated with this year. In a game where they've added one of the most, like one of the best defensive features we've ever seen in switch sticking, probably the most monumental defensive change since the hit stick and maybe even more, I think even more important, defense is as hard as it has ever been because the zones don't play anything, okay? So Madden has promised us zone coverage AI improvements. My theory would be that they are tuning in college football and then they're going to tune in Madden, right? So address an issue preventing the curl flat zone depth coaching adjustment from working properly when set at less than 15 yards, address an issue causing curl flat defenders to continue to drift away from an eligible receiving threat in their proximity. And then this one is the biggest one. Address an issue causing outside deep third defenders to bail too quickly from their alignment at the snap. Okay, so let's go through and we're going to go back over to the game and we're going to talk about these, these logic improvements. So the main thing that was the issue with, with curl flat zones is in your coaching adjustments, if you were to set these curl flats to five, and let's say you were going to set these to 25, and you wanted to play kind of a double flat style defense, the curl flat defender would really struggle to defend the flat route. So what we basically was the workaround was to use seam flats, which I'll show that right here. So if we just use these seam flats here, You'll see, and it's just trying to defend this tight end route. You'll see that that five yard depth is going to do just fine. Um, but oh, look, he runs right by him, and it really is still an issue. I could still throw a flat at a five yard curl flat um, or seam flat. Now, let's see if they were able to fix the curl flats so that the curl flats will latch onto these flat routes. And what you'll see here is he plays that a lot better, and that's exactly how you want that to be played for the most part. So. Um, when you when you adjust the zone drops on the curl flats, that is now going to be going to be handled really well. Um, another thing that was going on was curl flat zones just in general really struggled to pretty much struggled to defend anything. So let me jump back into let me go three three stack here actually, and we'll go cover three drop. This will show a couple things. So the biggest thing that I want to see is how does that curl flat defend like this combo right here. So I have that curl flat, I have a stock curl flat, and you'll see that he doesn't guard it. And not only does he not guard it, but also the, um, not only does he not guard the corner route, but also the deep third, which they said, quote unquote, is not gonna bail too quickly anymore. I don't have a single clear out streak. And you see that, that I could throw this right there every time. And that guy really doesn't play it that well. Now, what this is going to open up is this combination right here. This is the combo that I think you're going to start to see a lot of comp players go to because this really will exploit that. And as you see, that outside third really gets put in a lot of conflict if we were to run it like that. And the problem is, let's say that they switch stick. Uh, let's say that they switch stick to take away the short corner route 
to kind of imitate that, I'm going to use a soft squat. But basically what happened is he'll kind of play that route, but then now you have the corner kind of topping the route, and it's really hard to get back to that from a switch stick perspective. And again, you're going to want that corner to be about a 15-yard depth and then a 5-yard depth corner. Um, something like this right here is really effective. And then if you want to throw a streak in here, this combo is all the way back. And you're going to see this curl flat defender just doesn't guard anything. And I, it's not zone drops. I turn the zone drops back to default, and it's not playing anything whatsoever. Now, the thing that is is actually happening here um, that is kind of interesting is if I have a streak, a, like, like a seam streak, watch this outside third. You'll see he bails because it's pretty much any streak, and it doesn't matter hash mark. It used to matter hash marks. Like, it used to be if that streak was to the wide side, it was the middle third's responsibility to go play that. Now what we're seeing here is the outside third on the wide side is for some reason still playing the seam streak that is clearly the safeties to defend. So as you'll see, this outside third just doesn't do anything. He doesn't defend the corner out, and this has been the issue. Now to make matters even worse for them, what I want to show here is we're not going to have any vertical route. We're going to take, and what you're going to see is this will play a little bit better. You'll see that this, it's clear that the logic is, is affected by a streak. It plays it a little bit better, and you see at that time, actually ultimately um, defended it, but the problem is, and this is, this is what's really important, if I just simply freeform this down and to the right, you're going to see that he'll never get here. Actually, I guess he did get there a little bit better. He normally won't get there. Um, and, and it's it's a it's a super big issue. It's a big issue in Madden. It's a big issue in college football. Is I've got two defenders devoted to trying to defend that right sideline, and they can't guard it. Right? You see that time I'm able to throw it and able to get that possession catch. Another issue with deep third logic has really been how uh, the middle third defender plays. The middle third defender has been uh, really 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 bad. So let me just put this slot receiver here on a post, and I'm going to stem this to about kind of right in there, and then we'll just do a com Like, this would be a combo that you would actually see. Let me uh, do a streak, actually. This is one of my favorite combos in the game. And the reason this is really effective is because these this outside third on the left side, he'll never get back to that post, and then that safety is going to get – the middle third is going to get manipulated by the streak – and then so, so basically what you're going to have here is a cover three bomb. So you'll see here that outside third actually got back better than he normally does. But in general, and that, and that could just be because my tight end's a little slow. You know, if you just, I mean, honestly, if you just did a combo like this, let me show this real quick. Um, but let me actually leave this corner backed off and you'll see if, see if this plays it. Yeah, you see I just kind of sits there. And now, I mean, you just see how easy cover three is to manipulate. It's, it's just everything's open. Now, what's crazy is you don't need a clear out. So let's just say, you know, we want a max pro, right? Um, and we have this, this post. This post will always kill cover three. Look at this thing. And that time, actually, I will say that outside third played better. And that's probably just because the receiver got across the field too quick. So let me uh, stem him up a little bit more. And then I'll show you how to also kind of manipulate that in just a minute as well. But you see, he is actually kind of getting back better. But then, the, um, but then the other thing is, let me just let me just throw like a little speed out, like a little little fifteen, ten to fifteen yard speed out, or a comeback route. We'll just do a stock comeback route, and you'll see that now this really puts that defender in a lot of conflict. He actually, did go back. So I guess there you go. But what's what's really odd to me is, let me just do like a like a, like about that depth. If we put, if we just put a streak on the field, it just completely breaks it. Let's see if this works. So you see here, see how he squats back down like that, and then that gets open, and that's you know that's just that's just kind of been a legacy issue. So the problem too, as we're kind of wrapping this up, this, this section up that I wanted to show on the zones. Well, not only does that not defend. Not only does he not defend that time the curl flag play good short side, um, but not only does he not defend the the deep post right, but then he's not going to defend this out route either. You see, it's up to that curl flat defender. So I think I actually have a C route. Let me let me let me. Let me I forgot I have a C route in college football. So if I have a C route here, you'll see. So you have that outside third doesn't really guard it, and I can just possession catch that again and again and again. And then basically what we can do 
is we could just run like a high low combo. Let me show you what this would actually look like. You know, something like this. This is probably one of the better combos in the game because that outside third is never going to defend. He he just he just can't. So the only person that can is a curl flat defender, which it's good that that plays it. But then now, and you see kind of how this how this works. But this puts him in a ton of conflict. So now look at the curl flat defender breaks. That's open now. And what most people are going to ultimately do uh, to defend that is they're going to shade underneath. So now you know the, the hard flat to take away that drag route, which. In theory, you would think that the outside third, because he doesn't he doesn't have this post to defend yet, you would think he would just bite to the C route and defend it, right? But what happens is I can just throw it right at the third, and the third doesn't do anything. So to me, that is still kind of the issue. And again, you'll see it more so wide side with corner routes. Like, there's no reason that this corner route gets open. Look at who's the outside third defending. There's no one for him to guard. So... Although they said in the patch notes that there was a lot of logic de logic improvements, the deep thirds are not really that much better. Okay, um, general CPU play call and coach suggestion tuning. We adjusted play call situations for certain coverages to be used more frequently versus trips and bunch formations. Well, trips and bunch formations have been the meta for a really long time. I don't know what they're really trying to say here, other than maybe the computer plays trips and bunch better but i really don't think that that would that would occur um i do want to kind of look at this cover three buzz maybe they added some new plays that are kind of interesting um i might actually be able to look at that we'll look we'll go back to game in just a minute that added some new defensive plays added cover four field drop this is a three-man rush with eight defenders dropping into coverage by default um the nickel db aligns to the wide side of the field and the defensive end on the opposite side of the short side will drop into coverage okay cool so just some new plays um yeah and it's not a lot of not a lot of things here replace the curl assignment with the vertical hook um oh that was an issue so cover six cover nine they have the wrong hook curl zone on it's not supposed to be a hook curl it's supposed to be a vertical hook Adjust the defensive alignment and run fit issues in 3-3 three, three mint. Change the fourth rusher from an inside linebacker to an outside linebacker. I actually like that. I think that's a good change. Um, and then I don't really play dynasty or cut. Uh, I mean, I guess I play cut, but not really, not really too worried about that stuff. Main thing I wanted to show is gameplay and just kind of the core engine of the game. Um, let's go ahead and spend just a few minutes here taking a look at some playbook changes and then – and then um, we'll go. Well, I don't know why that happened. That's weird. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so let's look at the uh, let's look at the playbooks here real quick. So the biggest thing I explained the the corner route thing, and that's a big problem to me. Uh, but in general, they added uh, was it three three over? They said they added a play there. I wanted to see this cover three buzz Mabel. Okay, this is we. So it's basically just cover three buzz. If you look at this, what's the Mabel? Is it the fact that this guy is the weak side? Yeah, this is just cover three match. It's just cover three buzz match. Okay, so that's not really that big of a deal. Um, let's look at this 3-3 three, three mint they added in here. I love this. I have an ebook on this on the site. Yeah, cover four palms, they changed the rusher. So instead of it coming from the A gap, it's going to come from the edge. Um, this defense is still really good. It didn't see it. Didn't see anything in the patch notes that they changed blitzing and how blitzing works. So I think blitzing is still pretty much uh, the same. Three three stack. Uh, didn't say anything really about that, but uh, but yeah. So that's kind of pretty much the patch. Um, everything that I've seen that's worth mentioning. Wanted to just do a deep dive into this because this is very likely um, going to happen in Madden as well. And if you want to get any of my college football Madden offensive defensive ebooks completely up to date, we always update stuff post patch. I just dropped a brand new defense for Madden the other day. Um, I'll put a link to our school community in the description for ten dollars you get access to everything by being a member over there so if you are really looking to take your college or madden game to the next level i'd really encourage you to check out our school site again the link to sign up for that is in the description below